Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create pet records and owner records in Doggy Dashboard. So you can see here we're on the main homepage and if we go to the view up here and we go to your pet database, you can see I have no pet saved in the database right now. If I go and look at the client database, I have no client saved in the database. So let's get started. To get started, we can go up here to create new record and then create a pet a client or a client and a pet together. First, let's just create a client. So we're gonna name, make a client named James Johnson. His phone number is gonna be something like this. And his email will be jamesj at example.com. And then you can go down here and add anything else you want in these fields, address, 555 Main Street, Chicago, uh, Illinois, something like that. There we go. You hear, we can see we have some custom owner fields. I'm going to show you that in one second, what we can do there. And so first we're going to save our pet owner. And there you go. James Johnson's has been saved. Now to show you how to use those custom uh, fields, we'll go up here to the settings, account settings, go here to custom fields. And you can see we have three custom fields for each pet, three custom fields for each owner, and three custom fields for each employee. Right now, they're just filled in with these placeholders. So we're going to get rid of the first two. If you erase the name, they will not show up in your dashboard. So we're going to erase all these. And then for the custom pet field, we're going to say something like incident report. Uh, for the custom owner field, we could say something like... Um, payment notes if we want to have something about payment notes. And for the employee field, we can say something like uh, days off requests. And we'll update that settings. And now if we go to our client database and we click on James Johnson and we go to edit his profile, you'll see that payment notes has been added to as a possible field. So we can say James always pays on the fifth day of the month. You can really put anything you want in these fields. It doesn't have to be payment notes. It could be really any information you want, but we'll put it there. And then for owner notes, say he's a great guy. Update that. And there we go. Now we have a record for James Johnson, but you can see it says no pets. So uh, if we want to add a pet, we could click this one right here, click the plus pet button right there, or even go up here to create new record pet. And then we would select James from the drop down, and we'll make a dog named Greta. She is going to be a Cocker Spaniel. And she is going to be a Spade female. Here we have uh, the rabies expiration, DPP expiration, Borotel expiration. Uh, these can also be changed once again if we go up here to account settings. Open that up instead. Go down here to our vaccine names. Once again, same thing here. If you sub out the name that you want it to say, um, let's say for vaccine four, we want to call it uh, fleas and ticks, just something like that. And vaccine five, we want to get rid of. So we erase it, update the settings. And then we go back to our Greta. We're going to refresh the page here and we're going to see that these are going to change. Refresh the page. There we go. Number five vaccine goes away and fleas and ticks. It gets put in there for number four. So once again, we had Greta. She is with James Johnson and she is a Cocker Spaniel and she is going to be a spade female. And then we'll say um, she has vaccines that expire then. We'll give her one vaccine that expires next week, and we'll give her one vaccine that's expired just so you can see how that works. Here we have vet information we can put in here. Uh, each owner has a vet information slot as well, which just shows up for all their pets. So unless this pet has special vet needs, you don't need to fill that out. The alert message here is something that will show up on the top of the dog's profile. You can say... Um, he needs to pay for his last appointment. Uh, we'll say the owner, James, and then you'll see how this will work in a few seconds. And then we have aggression notes, special needs notes, feeding notes, medication notes, and then there's the incident report. That's that special one we made. And we can say um, June 1, 2022, he bit a smaller dog. And then why don't we upload a picture here? Upload a picture, browse. Let's look for a Cocker Spaniel. We will crop that picture there and crop it. And there we go. Let's add that pet. 
And now there we go. Greta's in our database and James Johnson's there. So why don't we add a new record of a client and a pet together? So here we'll say Holly is the first name. Williams is the last name. Phone number is going to be something like that again. Put Holly W at example.com. Here's all the owner, same information we can add there. Once again, payment notes, that special one we made shows up right there. Uh, for pet one, we'll put in, it's going to be a golden retriever named Lexi. And then we'll put a golden retriever. Lexi is also going to be spayed. We can go here and add all the information we want to. Once again, fleas and ticks, expirations, things like that. The vet information, aggression notes. We'll put one for her feeding notes. She needs to eat at least three scoops of dry before 10 a.m. And then we'll upload a picture as well right here. Browse. Look for a golden retriever. There we have one. Looks good. Crop the picture. We will save the owner and pet. And now if we go to the profile, let's see. We have Holly Williams with Lexi. Lexi's picture is getting loaded right now. So if we refresh the page, it might show up. There it is. There's little Lexi. We can click on her picture. It takes her right to her page. And if we go here to our database, now we'll see in the pets database, we have two pets showing up. And if we go to our client database, we have two clients showing up. But let's go back to that pets database. I really don't like this view. I think it looks better when you can see the dog's picture. So we'll click here on business settings and we're going to go to picture view instead of list view. So we go to business settings, pet display, picture view, update settings. And now if we go back to our pets database, you'll see that the pets pictures now show up. And so we could keep on adding more pets and it will slowly fill in this. And if you want to see how a full one looks, let's go over here. This is an account with uh, 241 pets and you can see you can scroll through and they have all the pictures there pets without pictures show up with this little um we'll find one this little dog's face right there um, but everyone else has a picture uploaded the color behind their name the red the orange and the yellow that's based on if they have a special needs note their name turns up yellow if they have a anger or temperament note their name will turn up red and if they have both of them it turns up uh, orange like that. If a dog's name is outlined in red, it means they have expired vaccines. And if a dog's little box is outlined in blue, it means they have upcoming vaccines. So all of these pets here have, a, have expired vaccines. And if we go back to our database and we refresh here, it looks like Greta has an expired one. If we go to Lexi, we click edit. Let's give her one that expires next week. We'll update her info. And now you can see she's outlined in blue because she has a vaccine that expires within the next eight weeks. And then Greta has one that expires within the next, um, uh, with the, actually already expired. We can click, click quick view here and see information on the pets uh, for both of them. And so that is how you create pet and owner records in Doggy Dashboard. Come back for the next video while I show you how to create appointments, invoices, report cards, you name it. I'll show you how to do it. Thanks a lot. Bye.